into a well-known dog man area right now, which it's in here. So the, this is an old Bigfoot area over here, as far as what I can gather from what I've seen. And so it's more open in here. Not really ideal for Sasquatch, but the dog men seem to like it. I've seen a bunch of like animal bones, like ritualistically put, like they're like inside blinds and stuff. They're like put out almost ritualistically. There's a whistle. Came from dead ahead, I think. I'd love to get in there, but it's just too thick right now. The grass, I got shorts on. I mean, I don't really need to be bringing home ticks today. I'd love to get in there. This is actually a really beautiful spot right here. Sarah tends to stop here. Sarah tends to stop here and stare all the time over here. So I'm going to take a minute and look too. So I usually just go right down the other way. But she tends to stare in here. I don't know if I ever asked her why. This plane is coming again. coming out of there. This video got cut off. Like I thought the plane went overhead. That that plane went overhead and got cut off. Basically. Coincidence? No. We're not here for conspiracy theories or that kind of shit. But you get the drift. You guys know what I deal with. Ejection. You hear those? Like. Sounds like gears, like on a bike or a Harley, or but it's not. So this is backward, back here. So this is why the dog. I said it's a doorman spot, because they're they go out there too. I guess to peek out, like at whatever. I don't know, but this is where I know that they are. They have like these ritualistic like bones set up, like from their kills. If you could tell, like it's a different feel, like it's like a dystopian feel or some shit. Like I don't even know what else to say. I want to go down here, but I don't, like, because there's, um, there's, like, some underground stuff over there. It's, like, a whole big bunker and stuff. I really don't. I don't know. You guys know that spot probably by now. I uncovered it a while back. Um, I really just don't feel like going near any of that. 
that kind of stuff today. It's beautiful down there. It's really beautiful. It's where a lot of interactions happen. Paul got his first wood knock down there, all that stuff. But um, I just feel like it's an I spy type of spot. Like, I just always feel like I have somebody watching me. Uh, this is back here. They have all these containers and shit. Shipping containers, this state building or whatever it is. I really, I don't know what they do. They got like work trucks and shit. So it goes down further, but we're gonna cut back. This is a beautiful view from right here too, which makes makes coming this way worth it. So that alpha area is basically like right over in here. Like basically where those trees on the ground meet meet the bigger forest. That's kind of where we go in right there, bro. So you could see there's a lot more to it. And this the drive in, just even just here, this section. I mean this whole area is huge, like whatever, it's a whole it's a whole few towns of woods, but, um, wow, it's really dark in this spot, it's really dark down there. Sounds like there's a dog running up behind me, like... enough to get me moving. See what I mean? I don't know what this place is. And there's nobody ever here. There's usually like one person here. I'll see a maintenance car coming in and out. That's it. It's unmarked. It's literally unmarked. It's just white with one of them yellow lights on top. Whether it's the van, whether it's the big trucks, whether it's just the little pickup trucks or whatever. They're unmarked, so it's not like they're trying to be, I mean, trying to be sneaky or trying to pretend to be some company. They're just, whatever they are. All right, let's get you guys in there a little closer as we go out. If I put it in this far, it's gonna be shaky as I walk, so I'll put you at this distance. Lo and behold, here comes a white car coming in with the, as I said, it. Well, whatever, don't matter. It's not important. It's a drift. It's not what we're here for. But you can see, see how bare those trees are in there? It's, it's wide open in there for good reason. Those are bare and they, that's the only place in this whole forest that's like that. Or woods, whatever these are. The only place that that's like that on the tops. And I'd imagine it's because he's huge and he can do it. It's crazy to think I'm looking at something up that high, but that's what it is. See, look, there it goes. Right up into the back. It's fucking staring right at me. Hate that shit. That's such a New York thing. Just stare at people. Like, what am I doing? I'm taking a hike. Like, I'm walking around. Like, people are so rude. I swear to God. coming back. I can't. I can't deal with this shit. See how beautiful it is in here? I think I flipped on the bird, actually. Honestly, I think I just flipped on the bird, so it makes sense to come back. Look at this. I 
I love this shit. His hair is so different. It's so much different. You see what I mean? Like just from the treetops everywhere in here. So much different. Guys, I'm out of here. I'm gonna go deal with whoever's trying to invite me out of here. I knew it was coming. It was just a matter of time. This stopped by my vehicle, so I'm gonna have to go deal with this. Because I'm the only car here. So. As always, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a blessed day. Talk soon.